It's Emily Francis with Oh My Malta. And guess what we're doing today? We're making, can you tell by my apron, Team Ricotta? We're making pastizzi. So we're here with Michaela of A Pastizzi Experience. You can find her everywhere online. And she hosts parties. Mm -hmm. And if you are just in town and you're watching this today, you might be able to get a quick interactive experience with your group. So tell us a little bit about what you do. A little experience that I have in my home where I teach you step by step how to make this amazing pastry called pastizzi. We have a special technique for the dough that's only done for pastizzi. I mean, Malta is known for pastizzi. It doesn't really exist anywhere else. And we want to get started. So the main fillings, ricotta mm -hmm. and mushy pea. Yes. And then my daughters love the Nutella. Uh, who doesn't? <laughs> I mean, that's our favorite. But let's go over, let's just make some dough because I've never seen pastizzi made yes. from scratch before. For sure. So actually, it's a really, really old recipe. It dates back to the 1500s. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking about older than Valletta. Being so old, it's super basic. It just has a few ingredients, which are flour, salt, and water, and lots of fats. Because if you've ever had a pastizzi, you know that they are a little bit greasy. I would assume a lot of butter. It's actually margarine or back in the day it was lard. Lard. And can I ask what kind of flour is used? Yes, I just use plain flour. That's zero zero normally. Something that's very finely milled. It can't be a strong bread flour or cake flour, for example. And she's measuring. If you guys can't see that there's a little number back here. So she really is doing this. She's a chemist. Thanks. <laughs> but when it comes to the flour, if you're a little bit over or a little bit under, it's okay. It's not such a big deal. The exact precise measurement that you need is the water. Because I don't know if you know this, but flour is moody. It's temperamental. So according to the environment, it might ask for more water or, or less. That's why we work with the water. Is that sea salt? Yes, gozo salt. I love it. That's, I go I go over to Josephine and I buy my it. salt always. Yes, exactly. I don't like the taste of other salts anymore. Me too. It's true. I actually go and buy the big from the Schweeney. Gozo sea salt. So props to you, Josephine. You know we love you. <laughs> so I just mix the flour and the salt. Okay. I'm making a well in the middle and I'm throwing in the water. Bang in the middle. Okay, and that's what I'm working with. That's okay. the most important. Let's make sure that everybody can see that. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a technique where I just put in the flour into the water and I'm gonna stop once the dough feels ready. Okay. Okay, so I just take from the insides and I start to mix. And how long have you been doing this? Mm, I started in 2018. And you said to me that you could not imagine doing anything else with your life. You love this work. Yes, I do, actually. I think that's fantastic. And I think a lot of, of women have a hard time finding that balance of what they really want to be doing and how to make money. Mm-hmm. That's true. You've really carved out a beautiful spot for yourself here on the island. I have. Actually, it's the best because I get to be a mom. I get to choose my own hours. But I also get to use everything that I studied at university, so it wasn't a waste. That's fantastic. That's really fantastic. And you host parties to learn pastizzi making up to 12 people at a time. Yes. So up to 12. So if you wanted to book your experience, whether you live here year-round, whether you're coming to visit, if you want to book your experience, in February it's more open, but usually it's a three-month wait list. Yes. I already have bookings for October. Amazing. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I think that's a big deal. I think that's the, that's, that's the dream, I, I think, of every mother especially. I don't mean to sound very specific, but I'm a mother too, and it's hard to figure out what am I going to do that I love, that I teach my children something that I love. Yes. And how do we make it work into a career? So. Or even a part-time, anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's you, the dough. Yes, you want a dough that's not sticky. So it's not so sticky. So may I touch it? Of course. Go for it. Oh, wow. And to make sure that it doesn't get sticky, you don't want to over-knead it. 
Okay. And then your hands get warm, the dough gets warm, and it just starts to get sticky again. And you have to stay playing with the flour, add a bit more, add a bit less. So once I get it to this consistency, I just check if it's aerated. And to check if it's aerated, I create an air pocket. Then I poke it gently with love. Go for with it. love? Yeah. You just poke it? G gently with love. Okay, so <laughs> gently with love. <laughs> gently with love. And if it springs back up and you can't see your fingerprint anymore, it's ready. Oh, it's ready. It's ready. Okay. It's done. We're ready for the next step. Let's do it. I could use a bigger rolling pin as well, but my aim is to get the pastry out as far as possible and as thin as possible without making it too wide. Okay. I try to keep it rectangular-ish. That's why I go for a small. Do you want me here, James, or should I be someplace else? You good? You're good there because you're going to help me in a little bit. All right. Yes. So I'm going to start rolling out. And just press it out, and then you can start to help me. You're going to hold up the pastry okay. close to the rolling pin. Okay. I will not roll your fingers, mm -hmm. I promise. Okay. But as I roll, you move backwards. Okay. Like that, we don't create many folds. Then I lift. Okay. Flip the dough and you can hold it up again. Okay. Closer to the rolling pin. Closer. Okay. Yeah, you can put one hand, the whole hand underneath. Oh, okay. Yeah. And a bit higher. Yeah. Now, do you make these by yourself and then it's not a problem or do you, is it usually interactive? Do you have someone help you? I do it by myself. Okay. But it's funner interactive. It is more fun. Yes, yes, yes. yes. When my but friends very or, thin. my friends and family ask me for pasitsi, I have one condition. They have to help? Oh, they have to help. That's very thin. Yes. And it doesn't break. As long as you're a little bit delicate. I mean, I ripped right through mine when I did the <laughs> You have to find the right balance. If you don't really hold it up, it just creates these little folds. Little air mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, you can start to see through. If you go thinner than that, then it will tear. I'm just widening it out a bit. Plus, it's here, so we'll be ready. Quite so Could you? Mm -hmm. Super ready. Okay. okay, from here we have to add a bit of margarine. Just a little bit. So margarine, not butter. Not butter. Margarine is made with vegetable oils and water. Okay. And it's the water that does this special thing in the oven. It steams. And when it steams, it pushes the layers apart. You could use butter, but they will come out more like pastel de natas on those lines, yes. A little bit on the crunchier side. I don't even know what that is. A pastel de nata? Mm. Um, Portuguese egg tart. Are they sold here? No. Well, then I wouldn't <laughs> have known what that is. <laughs> and I've never been to Portugal. <laughs> Portuguese egg tart. <laughs> I don't know, it's one of my favorite desserts. Really? Mm -hmm. Do you want to help me? Sure. Just take a little bit okay. and you're going to spread it on. You don't want to rub it in, but oh. just spread it on. So technically we're creating another layer here. Okay. Like if I'm spreading a baking dish of the butter or margarine before it. Yes, or on a hot summer day when you're putting on SPF 50. Okay which I am sure to do here in Malta, because <laughs> I don't even know why they sell less than anymore. Okay, so I don't have too much on then. And you go all the way to the edges? Yes. Okay. I'm going to cover the whole place, the whole surface. If you look online, there are some people who just rub the, the whole block directly okay. onto 
the pastry, but I find that it can be a oh, little bit Oh, you use the whole entire block though? Yes, the whole thing. The ratio is important. You use the whole thing? Is this going to be one pastizzi or no, one whole roll? Oh, one whole roll. Oh, no. It will make many pastizzi. Mamma mia! <laughs> many pastizzi. <laughs> Uh, I have a question. How often do you eat pastizzi? Uh, not very often. How often do you eat croissants? My children eat pastizzi and croissants often. I eat them... I do a lot more focaccia. I'm more mm. of a focaccia girl myself, to be honest. And the pastizzis are so good, but I don't want to get addicted, and I think it's easy to do. Definitely. So I kind of... But my children, anytime you pass by a Nutella pastizzi, we're buying. <laughs> so, and then chocolate croissants, at least once a week. So a croissant, a plain, empty croissant, has way more calories than a ricotta pastizzi. Really? Yes. Why? Why? Yes, why? Because to make a croissant, you use a ton of butter, but not just this much, like layers upon layers upon blocks and blocks and blocks of butter. <laughs> you know, some of those things make you sad to know. <laughs> you know, it's like the books, Eat This, Not That. Yes. And they're like trades of knowing. But I like people this, to know that food. croissants have more calories. So like that, they eat so more they pastizzi. So they go for the pastizzi. Yeah. So. And pastizzi is like the signature pastry of Malta. Exactly. I mean, this is, I mean, you go to Malta, you, to go to Malta and not have a pastizzi is like, well, a little well, you missed out You're a little sacrilege yeah. right there. You gotta have it. That was one of the first things we had when we got to the island. Of course. Because everybody said you have to go and have pastizzi. Mm -hmm. But then you get really specific of where you like your pastizzi and who makes the best. And mm -hmm. homemade, there's nothing like that. No, of course. There's but nothing like that. That's with everything. Okay. okay. It's nice and greasy. It is definitely greasy. <laughs> now we're going to make our layers. Okay. I'm going to show you how. I'm going to start from the smaller edge. It naturally is a cone shape. Okay. Always. And I'm gonna go to the edge. I'll get out of your way. Okay, and I'm gonna lift a little bit and start to create a roll. Once you roll it up, you have to let it rest? Yes. So you wrap it up and then? I wrap it up and I pop it in the fridge and then it depends on your fridge and how many times you open it and close it. But it really needs to be super, super cold. So that we work with it cold and it goes into a super hot oven. And, and then you don't put it in the freezer? No, and then it would be too hard to open up. Okay. I can freeze it if I'm not going to use it. Okay. And then I'll defrost it to use it. Put the layers facing up. It's either this side or that side. It doesn't okay. really matter. And what you want to do is dip your thumb into the olive oil. Okay. okay. And from here, I'm just starting from the middle, spreading open Ooh, the spread. layers. And then from underneath, I'm holding so that I'm not making a hole. Oh so, oh, so you're not making a hole? I'm not making a hole. We are opening it up as a disc. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so you're pushing from the bottom. Yes, I'm at pushing. At the same time mm -hmm. that you're spreading. And when I get to the edge, I leave a lip. I don't press hard so that the layers don't get squashed. You know, the longer it is in your hands, the margarine is going to melt and it's not going to be so cold. And you want it to be really cold when it goes into a super hot oven. Final product is here. It is the most beautiful pastizzi I've ever seen in uh -huh. real life. It's it's so homemade. It's different. It's different. It's just slightly different. So let's take a bite and find out. But go to give me your website or where people can find. Oh, you can find me on Instagram as Apostizzi Experience, or I have my own website, Apostizzi Experience as well. ApostizziExperience.com. Yeah, dot com. Go visit Michaela and plan your next party over here. Yes. Now let's begin. This is the one I made, so I'm gonna try this one. Team ricotta. Mm. 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 Is it good? Mm. So good. I'm loving the layers. Wow. This is, I'm not just saying this, I really am not. This is the best pastizia I've ever had. Mm. Ever.